This is a tutorial video on how to create ShipLab joints for precast walls in Revit. So I have empty project in Revit, so I'll pick wall to draw some walls. And I will say it should go from level 1 to level 2. And I'll just draw any random length of a wall. Let's go to the elevation view and see how does it look. So that's just one story wall and I'm gonna create a couple of additional levels and just extend the wall so it will go through all the levels. Now I want to divide this wall so I will open this precast concrete tools. I will select smart walls and it has split wall menu which I can use to split walls in different ways. So I will select this wall and select this split by levels option. Select these three levels, click on OK, and now I have these walls just created like this. Okay, so next thing, what I will do, I'll select these walls, say uh, I want to have some overlap, so I will add some value over here. Now they are overlapping like this. Uh, we can make a section here, and let me just show you how does that look in the section. So they are just overlapping one over other and I want to just cut them to get the shape of a shiplap joint. So what I will do, uh, I will create new family, um, new family, and I will use it to cut my walls. So this will be a line-based family template. So I'll just pick this one, um, go to the left view, select void, extrusion, and just simply draw the shape of your cut. So in my case it would be something like this because my walls are 200 millimeter width. So what I'm doing here just drawing the shape of a cut. So that's how it should be. Alright, so I have this void. I will say it should be locked at these reference planes. So it will follow the change of the length. And then I will say that cut the voids when loaded. This option should be on. And I will save this one as a family. Save as family. Just have here some folder where I will save it. Okay, this will be the name of my family. I will load it into a project. And I can just draw that. Uh, this family like this on the face on the work plane, but I But I want to have this at the top at the bottom and I want to automate this process So for that I will use smart connections So this tool has configurations Where I can define what kind of family should be placed and where they should be placed So I want to place them on the wall and I want to have new family just rename it call it uh, again Like this then uh, choose this tabs because this is line based family so I want to go here select the family I want to place this at the bottom and I want to make this go from the start to the end of the bottom face and just in the center of the bottom face and then I want to have another one which will be placed at the top and uh, should go again from the start to the end um, should be the same family like this and I want to make this flip work plane. All right, so let's save this configuration, click on OK, select our walls and just uh, create, ins insert elements, and then select configuration, click on insert, and that's what will happen. So, so now I have this cut and I can uh, if I don't want to have this, I can just delete this or um, another way would be just to select this one and say I don't want to insert this at all and just run the update. So different kind of options here, but basically you can automate this process. Okay, so this is it. I hope you liked it. If you have questions, let us know. AGA CAD, Building BIM Together.